Bye guys. Bye guys. And welcome, and welcome to, to the. I'm Lisa. And I'm Chelsea. So today, guys, we thought that we should do a get to know me Q and A kind of tag because the bleeps have been around for a little minute and we finally reached 400 subscribers. <laughs> so we thought, you know what? Let's go ahead and do a Q and A. We've got questions. We're gonna ask them to each other and hear the answers so you guys can get to know us a little bit more. Okay? And as always, let's get into the video. Why? This, like, what if this girl even said, please? Because I just, hey. Okay, girl, hope you ready. I'm ready, bitch. <laughs> let's get to it. So, the first question is, would you rather eat only one meal every three days of whatever you want and only carrot sticks in between to keep you alive? Or would you be able to, would you want to be able to eat whatever you want whenever you want but have no sense of taste <laughs> bitch you already know yeah tasting foods without the tasting of food yeah what is life honestly what is life you already know what it is i will 100 percent go for the carrot sticks i love carrots anyway so eat carrot sticks and drink some water bitch i'll be snatched for the gods so i don't mind and then i'll have like a seafood boil or mukbang or something every three days so that one's pretty simple bro Good. <laughs> if swarms offered you a hundred thousand pounds and a guaranteed 50k followers to twerk on his life in the song would you do it <laughs> hmm Hey, do you know what, yeah? Do you know what? In a thong. I'm trying to think, could I do the Kim K and turn certain sexual into fame, you know? Because she went from hmm to classy. Hey, chale, chale, chale. No. Because you know what I'm going to give you is, <laughs> would you ever be able to have sex with him when he treats you how Stevie Day treated Jocelyn Hernandez in the early seasons of <laughs> So basically he will just be, leave, not even say goodbye. Basically like, go up to him. Oh my time. god. Or, or you want to be good friends with him, but never ever be able to sleep with him, ever be intimate with him, or go out of him. Or have sleepers. Or would you rather be his mistress, but he has a wife, <sighs> two kids, and he stays married to her forever. He says he loves you, but he never will ever leave his wife. <laughs> obviously, being a wife means she gets all the money, but you get his love. Wait, what? What would you pick? Lisa, you've done too much. you actually done too much. Um, okay, so what's the first one? We beat, but he treats me like how Stevie J treat Jocelyn Hernandez. You ain't gonna take me back to the strip club. I ain't gonna go back to the strip club. <gasps> or... What's the second one? He's my best friend, but we never touch, never nothing. Listen, okay, let's exit that one out from the jump. Tian, I don't need to be my friend, okay? I've, I've already got many friends. I've got a guy friend who I love very much, and he's the only guy friend that I need. Well, I've got two. They're the only guy friends that I need. I don't need another one, thank you very much. So that one's not even an option. And be a mistress, no money. <laughs> no money. So you want to give me love with no money? <laughs> Lisa, please don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. So I think for that one, a hundred percent, I'll have to. I'll have to do the Stevie J. I will have to do the Stevie J because you know it is. Yeah, look at Jocelyn now. The bitch is winning. She literally have go have to go back to the strip club, bitch. She is making money on TV shows. It has to be the Jocelyn Hernandez. That was a good one though. That actually, yeah, it's okay as long as I get the D. Yeah, and I'm able to say that I actually um, slept with my man crush Monday. I'm happy. Ain't no complaints. Rex in the bank. If you had to date any of your guy mates, who would it be? I would be my friend Trey. I can't lie. Legit. During your last week of quarantine, how many batteries of your ba vibrator did you go through? <sighs> why? 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 Why do you have to do that? Why do you have... I'm going to have to have words because why did you have to do that? What happened in the group chat? 
stays in the group chat. You can't just be out in man's business and that. This girl, just wait. I should, I should have made stronger questions for you. Um, hmm. Fam, I can't like. Did I even count? Listen, all I know is batches were done in it. That's that's the truth. You want the truth? The batches were done. Man had to order new ones. <laughs> what is your weird sexual fetish slash fantasy? This involves a lot oil, a pole, and toilet. So it'll be a pole. I'll be high as well. We'll both be so high. Um, I'll be oiled up, and then I'll just start, you know, doing madness on the pole. Tuck in, tuck in, tuck in. Well, I go up. Boom! I drop. My bum's just doing this. Boom, 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 boom. And he comes in to slap on my ass and pour some champagne on it and licks it off. And you know. The rest is thought. The rest is, you know, history. How do you calm yourself when you're angry? Oh, how do I calm myself when I'm angry? Um, honestly, I'm not a very angry person. If anyone knows me, yeah, then you know that I'm quite a chilled out, relaxed. I'm quite a happy person. I do moan a little bit, but um, yeah, I'm never angry. And if I do get angry, I feel like there's like no, there is no calming me down. I'm very cool and collected. Like I can probably count on my hand the amount of times I've been angry. I don't lose my temper, so yeah. But probably if if people like try and make me laugh or whatever, cheer me up, yeah, then yeah, I think I'll be alright. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. At my birthday party, it was like my twenty third birthday party. Yeah, I was about to beat up my best friend because she was just doing too much. She was doing way too much, yeah. And then everyone had to come and calm me down. One fine bubble. Hey! He just came to talk to me. It was a stroke in my weave, honey. It was lovely. But yeah, he calmed me down. So I suppose maybe if you send me a tall dark skin, honey, to calm me down, that'll work. Okay. What is your favourite holiday memory? Okay. My favourite holiday memory. I'm definitely going to go for my trip to Amsterdam. I think very close as well. I saw Sweden and France and other places. But the reason why I'm choosing that one is because it was a period of time where I couldn't go, like I couldn't travel for a while. And so I would see like my friends go on their girls holidays, go on holidays for their birthdays. And it, it really affected me, you know, cause I, I needed those holidays. I needed a break, but I couldn't do it. And I couldn't celebrate my birthday when I wanted to, which was go on holiday. So when the passport finally came in time for my birthday, it was just like, oh, I was just blown away. Like I felt this overwhelming emotion on the plane. I was like, I can't believe I'm actually traveling to another country. It was, it was just like, I could cry and it was literally amazing. Um, so that's what was amazing about the aspect that I could actually travel. And I was with um, two of my, Really close friends that would have all supported me for a time in my life where it was right. And now the last one starting. Hmm. Um, what is an, the earliest memory you have of your life? Oh, the earliest memory. Jeez. One of my earliest memories I can actually remember, yeah, cause I'm sure I've got a lot, but I've just forgotten some of them. One of them that will always stick with me is the day that my mum told me to get out the buggy and walk. And it was like, my feet were dragging on the sidewalk. Cause I was so long and tall. My feet were literally scraping onto the buggy like some big old child. And literally, I remember my mum being like, all right, child, it's time to get out of the buggy now. And I was crying. And she was like, come on, come on, get out of the buggy. Come on, big girl, big girl. And I was like, no, like, why have you done this on the street? In in front of everybody. I must have been like two in a bit. And then um, she's like, it's okay, look, you can be a big girl and you can push the buggy. When she said that, yeah, listen, the way I flew out of this buggy and I started pushing the buggy like I was some big girl, I thought I was sick, man. But yeah, that's that's one of the earliest memories I have, like, legitly getting out of my buggy and pushing it. I was so gassed. But yeah, that was...